Good afternoon to our esteemed opponents, adjudicators, and guests. The motion for today's debate is driverless cars are a good idea. We are CCC Game College, the Lions, and as the affirmative, our team line is driverless, the perfect solution. It satisfies all stakeholders. I am June, the first speaker in this debate. I will talk about the limitations of human drivers. Our second speaker will be Ivan. He will talk about the environment. Our first speaker, Wong, will wrap up the case. Cars and airplanes have inflicted so much damage on the planet during the 20th century. We are literally killing off the human race. As the first speaker of the affirmative, I would like to point out that the only real benefit of having individuals drive their own cars is a fixed sense of independence, the feeling of freedom. The rest is all negative impact. Looking at larger modes of transportation, like ships, old school, old school human drivers, bunker fuel, we are filling the sky with carbon. We need a completely new social and a completely new environmental way forward. This way is AV, autonomous vehicles. Our, our second speaker, Ivan, will talk about the social benefits of using driverless technology. Our third speaker, Wong, will provide a rebuttal and conclude the case. First, what is an AV actually? It simply means that there is no human driver. We also call this AVEH. Wonderful. Robo drivers, driverless vehicles, can be used to move people, move goods, respond in emergencies. Remember, there is no human driver, so the possibilities really open up. For example, it can wait patiently for hours. It does not respond to heat or cold like a human driver. It does not need to take nutrition breaks. It communicates electronically with other vehicles and machinery on the road. A total dream, transportation system for rural places. The north, hard to reach areas. The rest of the world is about to become accessible. Living outside the city will no longer be a death sentence for people with no car. For drivers, cars are going to bring public transportation for everyone. Cities will lose their critical importance. There will be, there will be less congestion. And what are the problems with human drivers again? Emotions, fatigue, lack of skill or ability. Let's move to the next chapter in human evolution and go driverless. It's better for us, better for the environment, and better for society. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Ivan, the second speaker in this debate. Our team line is driverless, the perfect solution. It satisfies all stakeholders. There are many arguments in favor of self-driving cars, including prevention of crashes. However, as a Chinese, as a Chinese gentleman, I cannot help but think out of the social benefits. Self-driving cars will bring tremendous, tremendous changes to society that I find both reassuring and exciting. Firstly, they will provide mobility options to those with disability, those in rural areas, and those who feel uncomfortable sharing a cup with human driver, such as my grandmother. My grandmother in Xiaoguan always has to wait for our family driver to pick her up. Sometimes she waits over a, over a day, a fleet of self-driving taxis and vehicles is currently being planned for China. It is already under development by moving to smaller driverless vehicle. Where we live it will actually change. My hometown, Xiaoguan, will be such a livable place. As most of our problem right now come to lack of available taxi and truck drivers. When you consider all of the above, remember that driverless cars are also project to reduce crash rates and road death by up to 80%. If this truly happens, all of our lives will improve. And a sense of person, personal security and safety will be all around. Ah! Um, before we move on to the next speaker, let me address one fallacy that negative team has repeated. They say, driverless, driverless vehicle puts human lives at risk. Driverless vehicles bring oxygen, life, 
giving oxygen to planets. They allow creatures to live. They are extending the human race. Travelers, low-speed vehicles do not kill animals or people. People kill people with their weapons. Their weapons are gas-powered cars. Let's look for a perfect solution so that we may uh, not just survive. The, per the perfect solution is travelers. It specifies all stakeholders. One, go. Good afternoon, everyone. I am Walt, the first speaker in this debate. Let's get right down to it. Our team line is travelers, the perfect solution is satisfies all stakeholders. But before I continue in this debate, I need to address a policy put forth by the negative team. They said that drivers might take less care to avoid crashing into drivers' vehicles. This cannot be true. If opin opinions have any data or research to support this claim, I would like to see Driver of vehicles involved in crashes rarely have time to make an assessment of who is driving the other vehicles before contact. Other important point, our plan does not include human drivers. There are no human drivers in our model. Did the negative respond? No, nothing. The opposing team also brought into question Hong Kong's topography with step hills, crowded streets, and no sidewalk in some areas. However, they failed to consider that driverless cars are a completely different world. They can drive in tubes. They are sometimes drones. They won't be on roads as we know them. All of their points about roads are simply hardwash and unrelated. In China, robo-taxi will be increased from 15% to 22% of cars by 2024. Robo-trucks are soon to fall, 30% of the market by 2028. Eventually, all motorized vehicles will fill expansion. The market size is over 20 billion US dollars in this year alone. No problem at all building new facilities to handle these cars. Let me conclude this important debate by calling on the Hong Kong government to bring legislation quickly that will permit driverless cars and autonomous vehicles. Let's take the next step and redesign pathway and roads too. These laws, this support structure is long overdue. Let's get on the robo wagon and go driverless. Better for the environment and better for society. This motion is stand. Thank you.